Hello, my legion of little goblins. This is Gamer Dragon. Welcome back to Let's Play Amnesia Chroma. <laughs> and, um, the game started me out at the beginning. So, that's gonna be a problem. But I'm caught up to where I was when I ended. So I guess I'm just going to have to leave this game running in the background when I'm not recording it. Or I'm just going to have to record a bunch of, a bunch in one go, a bunch of videos in one go and hope for the best. Anyway, let's get a move on. Because now we got the, uh, key to the shed. This looks like a shed. I pushed and then you stumbled. I kicked you in the face. You stare at me. He's so hollow. Got to keep that killing pace. Oh, you can hear couldn't damn that river. And maybe I don't give a damn anyway. You couldn't damn that river and wash me so far away. Okay. <gasps> Why? Why did you feel the need to do that? Shed was unpleasantly warm. about a tinder box more unnecessary drama the hell an odd force field doesn't let me through touch the door. Then what the hell is this? <gasps> Pull yourself together, man. We got shit to do. Such as looking for secrets. Dungeons. I see that you've reached the dungeons. It's sure the most horrific place on earth. Hide in that cold blood and murder used to torture and keep prisoners here. From their blood he extracted vitae, a substance that slows aging so much it may that it may practically that it practically makes one immortal. You must watch out, as Aiden didn't kill all of his victims. Most are likely most likely are 
Most likely they are ra wandering around these chambers, unable to escape, insane, and willing to kill the person who, who did it to them. However, I don't think they would recognize him from any other person, so I wouldn't get comfortable if I were you. Kingman. Hey, now. P.S. Block A, laboratory. Block B, cell, storage, main corridor, entrance hall. C, morgue, central corridor. D, cells, torture rooms. Why are you helping me, poor dude? Like, wow, that is, that is so charming. No lock on this side, so I can't pick it. I so you know that's some way other than lock picking to get through that door. In case this will be useful, the key, key to the laboratory is somewhere in Kane Man's office in the account. Oh, right, I. there or am I just set losing my own mind it'll be a decent hiding spot if the monster ever gets up here block a what did he say block a was The laboratory. Oh, doy, I have a fucking ink crowbar. Hopefully, it's not a single use crowbar. Excellent. Romanin 3. Did you read this his journal? Unfortunately, it's all truth. These are... used to be my dungeons. Now they are his. I did torture people here and I have no way to excuse myself. When you find the shard located in the very heart of the dungeons, I'll tell you more. Perhaps you noticed the door to the laboratories is cut off with a spell. And you must have noticed the quake which collapsed the tunnel you entered with. These two who, who were attempts to imprison you in the complex. However, there is another way of escaping the dungeon, which he never knew about. You must descend into the underworld. Oh, fun. It won't be easy, eh? but Kingman, Kingnam has lost a huge amount of energy to put, put, a spell, put a spell in to cause the quake. It won't interfere for, for some time, so escaping might be easier. First, go to a sanctuary that is buried deep inside these mountains and accessible for only from these corridors. And when you get there, you'll be able to find out more. Aiden. Now we are on the level of that horrible monster. Okay, what was cell block C then? The morgue. Get yeah, lock the lock.
Prisoner's journal. I have managed to steal one of his keys when he was dragging me out of a torture room. I'm going to hide it on top of the door frame in my cell. It's the last one on the right. I put no hope that it will help me, but if you manage to use it, pray for my soul. Going to need that. Any small key, what does this one say? Probably for a padlock. Oh, this is a horrible room. I love morgues. Let's see, this is just cells in the torture chamber. Got it. Hmm. I better close this behind me. The monsters always get confused at who's by the barred doors. that I'll be around to guide you through your weakest moments to leave them behind you returning nightmares only shadows we'll cast some light and you'll be all right for now crosses all over heavy on the shoulders sirens inside you keep waiting to step forward disturbing silence darkens your sight we'll cast some light and you'll be all right for now that's oddly comforting Okay, it's just a waste of space there. Gotta be careful with these mattresses, they break games. Oh, that is an oddly dark cell in front of me. I don't like how weirdly dark that cell is. Medieval tortures! Ugh. These tortures are qu were quite nasty opposed to modern ones. They leave big marks on victims' bodies. Psyche can be can be damaged too. The executioner is doing it in a persistent or and calm way, or additionally scares the victim before inflicting the torture. For example, by showing in his tools, methods, etc. The brazen bull. I. I just. What a horrible way to go, you know. This torture consisted in literally roasting the victim, usually to death, and originally came from ancient Greece. Of course it did. Where the fuck else would it have come from? One was put into a hollow made of, made of, made of bronze statue of a bull, and a fire was lit up underneath. The tool had, had, the, do had the door on its side and a hole in the bull's snout, which allowed war or is a pain to escape, distorted in, in a macabre way by echoing meadow, metal. Presumably it was used to scare or the audience away from crime and in the instrument itself. The wheel. This instrument isn't torture, a torture itself, it was a way to bound, 
on the condemned to continue with other punishments such as beating, whipping, cutting, etc. However, the wheel had a special feature different from other means of bonding. It had holes in it which allowed it, which allowed to break a, a tied, tied up limb easily, possibly with a hammer or club. Also, the victim would be would be spined to create discomfort. Now we know know that if one is was hanged upside down, blood rushed to their head, making the pain even worse. Got it. There are box. Need boxes. Barrel can work just as well, but you know. Got the key. What is this the key to? For a padlock! What was the point of going in there? Vitae, the knowledge assembled. Vitae is of cosmic origin and causes the living host to burst with energy. The catalyst is produced somewhere in the brain. Although many of its properties are unknown, one of them is the ability to extend life, potentially for centuries, if consumed in large amounts. In order to procure such amounts, it must be acquired from humans. Although animals also secrete evite, they do not produce it in large enough doses to be of any use. Obtaining vite is a methodical and painstaking task, as torture must be inflicted in the right fashion for maximum vite extraction. When pain or fear is instilled in a victim, the, the body fills the bloodstream with vite, and this can result in fits of violence and brute strength if the victim is not properly restrained and terrified. After the victim is completely broken, they will no longer produce enough vite as their mind has already adjusted to the torture. Thus, an amnesia drink may be used to make them forget about the torture, so many more vite can be harvested. Question! Who wrote that note? Who wrote that book? these boxes I oh. can't move the really big ones The door is too heavy for a human to move. There must be some mechanism to open it. Hold on. I need to throw. I think I need to throw this thing up here. Where 
Where was the other? There was a pipe up here. Why can't I take this pipe? I want to take it. Ah, fuck you. I really don't want to go over there yet. New mechanism opening the door has been finished, sir. If you want to make it use of it, pull the lever first. This will allow the steam to flow. Then press the button. That starts the mechanism itself. Please notice that if the steam isn't turned off after using, pressure control pipes are easily broken. They've been mounted and outside the wall to make repairing uncomfortable in such case. If this happens, I left some spare parts in the room where my we used to store the tools. I gotta figure out. Which means we gotta go back and Oh, I am just waiting for that fucking monster to come the fuck back and I don't like it this. Get up here. How did he get up here?
these guys so much. to know what's up there. Okay, just some tinder boxes and a whole lot of nothing else. <laughs> hate. 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 <laughs> at least put something in here to make this that jumping easier okay come on Doesn't look ominous and horrifying at all. Can you hear me? Good. The orb shard you've just picked up allows me to talk to you. I'm Aiden. Or rather, we are Aiden. No, you're not mistaken. We're the same person. How did this happen? What exactly is this? You see, our former self has been split into two. I'm the mind, floating in space without a body. A ghost, technically speaking. Plot twist! You're the body, wandering around without any memories or knowledge. This happened because of Canem. He somehow tore us apart, by accident, I think. He overdid the torture he inflicted onto us. He used an orb, which I'm being stored in right now. Unfortunately, the orb is in pieces at the moment. I want you to redeem yourself, kill Canem, and leave this place. Or rather, redeem us, because if you find all the orb shards, we can be melded together once again. You can regain your soul. One last thing, you must go into the underworld. As I said before, it's the only exit from these dungeons at the moment. The mighty fungus is going to help you because I helped him before. Now, proceed. You'll know where to go when you're back to this world. Yes, okay, that sounds perfectly sound and reasonable and logical. Also, who built this? The underworld. The underworld is something between Earth and other dimensions, like heaven or hell. See, Dante is nine levels of hell. Certainly it isn't unsafe, as spirits of people lost in there for long enough morph either into horrific monsters or etheric entities. Unfortunately for us, as visitors, they are usually hostile. No shit. Getting slot in the there results in turning into one of the creatures, getting possessed. Uh, this results in losing one's body and becoming an insane spirit. However, these aren't the only beings existing in this dimension. Some of them grew powerful enough to get others under control. We call them the Great Lords. It is possible to summon a lord on Earth to channel his power in, or, or onto the mag magus or for other purposes. Their form usually changes after, su after the summoning. It is possible to use the underworld as a traveling device, which is, seems like a very bad idea. For example, if Ma 
If Magus t makes 100 steps in the underworld, he'll then creates another gate. He will land 200 steps from the place he started from on the earth. It is possible to make a steady connection like that. The underworld is one of the closest dimensions to ours. That's why it's easy to get there. In order to do it, it Magus, Magus must summon a great lord and either bow owned or ask him to use his power. Without that, Magus will be too weak to break the dimension seal and open the gate. When it is done, Magus will, must light six fires, candles, torches, etc. around the place of the ritual. Then he must paint a protective sigil on the floor er, and powerful runes into on an empty shape. The gate will be created at, for example, a door frame or even a wooden rectangle. However, that one is not advised. Painting in blood makes it something less power consuming, but it isn't necessary to open the gate. To open the gate, Magus must stand in the sigil and say the incantation. I am not even going to attempt that. Important, before entering, Magus should perform the rite of protection to save him from being possessed. Here's how it, should, how it looks. Magus should sacrifice some of his blood to the great lord, say this. So you want to escape? Of course I will help you, just as you helped me in escaping that boring dimension. Prepare the ritual. I'll wait. <laughs> so sounds good! Uh, except not really. It really, really doesn't. So thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this and want to see more, like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell notification icon, and share this video with someone who might enjoy the series. I'm Gamer Dragon. My cat looks like a cuckoo. And I'll see you all next time. Bye!